the Sony RX100 Mark III, which is this little guy over here. I think it has a lot better image quality, better focal length, and a very nice flip out screen. So a little while ago, I made a video about the Canon G9, which is one of those Canon point and shoot cameras. And I was really happy with the camera. And I made a video and talking about how great that camera was. But there was always one little issue with that camera that kept on bothering me over and over again. And that was the length of the lens. Every time I turned that camera into myself, I felt like the camera was a little too close. If you ever filmed yourself, you very quickly realize how important the length of the lens is. Like right now I'm shooting with an 18 millimeter and you have like a nice kind of open image. Like this would be like a 35. If I was holding the camera and filming with a 35, this is what it will look like. Uh, but because I can push this lens up to 18 millimeters, this feels much more ergonomic, especially for YouTube and social media, this feels a little more acceptable, a little more comfortable. So this kind of image is what I was looking for out of my point and shoot camera, which leads me to my new point and shoot camera, the Sony RX100 Mark III, which is, I was kind of settling a little bit with the Canon, but this made me really happy. So going out to 2022, this is the point and shoot that I'll be carrying and I'm really, I really think I won't be changing point and shoot anytime soon. I like to have a camera that I like and rely on it and just master that camera and do as best as I can with that camera. I like to use the camera for as long as I can. I feel like choosing the image that you like and sticking to that image will, will give you more consistency, will give you better results, will give you more uh, understanding of the type of image that you create so you can always rely on what you're creating. This is not cheap, especially for a point and shoot camera. I feel like this is a little on the expensive side, but the build quality of this is incredible. This camera is fully made out of metal. Uh, it has a Zeiss lens, uh, which they're really good at building glass. So this looks incredible. My goal with this is to just grab this, point it at myself, in film. Some of my favorite features is, again, the glass. I feel like this is a pretty good lens. I think if you're talking to camera, like right now you can see I'm just holding the camera in my hand, but you can still see my whole head, you get a little bit of shoulder. Uh, if I wanna add a little tripod to this or anything like that, this works perfectly fine. I didn't realize this, but the build quality really matters for me. This camera is gonna be thrown around. It's important to have a camera that I know is not just gonna break. The two point and shoot Canon cameras that I had before, both had fixed screens, so I had to just guess and hope for the best. Uh, here, because I get a flip off screen, is a lot nicer that you can see yourself and you can make sure you're in focus. This has out of focus and is good. I leave on auto exposure and is good, but sometimes you'll fail. So if the day is very bright, but I'm filming on the indoors, am I exposed for the outside and black out everything aside? So at least by seeing myself, I can tell if the image is not how I want. The image out of this is 1080. Uh, I don't need 4K. I think I'm just filming this on my day-to-day -day basis. I put, um, I think it's a 64 memory card in here and I still have like eight hours of recording. And the last thing that I really loved about this camera is that I can charge this via USB. So I never really take the battery out of this. I just pop in a USB and it's one of those regular um, mini USB things that everybody has. It gives me the flexibility that I want. So a battery that lasts longer, a memory that can now last, and whenever I'm running closer to running out of memory or if I need the footage that's in here, quickly back up and back into action but as with any camera we have our downfall so a couple of little minor smaller things done could have could have been better um, my main thing with this camera which I'm not particularly fond of is the record button uh, for two reasons first I wish I could just set the trigger to record I wish I could just grab this camera press right here and start recording myself. It doesn't let me do that. The actual recording button for this camera, it's this little button over here. 
You see how, like, you look at the size of my finger and look how small the button is. I've been trying to get used to, like, like basically just whipping my finger in this corner. So I wish this button was either bigger or they just let me use the trigger to start recording because this is ridiculous. I want to just use this camera. Sometimes I feel like I start pressing menus and start flipping things, especially because you feel me looking at yourself and the button is so small, it's just ridiculous. And I think the only other little point that I have with this camera, I'm slightly afraid of, like the build is really great and I love the flip out screen, but you see how thin this is? Like this little body here is very thin. It's never something that really concerned me, and obviously nothing has indicated that it will break. It's just the mere fact that it's a very thin piece of metal. And obviously because it connects to the screen, I'm afraid that the screen is going to stop working if that breaks for any reason. Oh, it's getting to my nose now. But it's so funny, I feel like I keep making videos on point-and-shoot cameras. Just never to go, but I do like to share these aspects because even though I work with really big cameras and I use many different cameras for many things, this is one of the cameras that I end up using most on my day-to-day -day basis. And I know that when I was looking to buy these cameras, reviews and updated reviews are so important. So I know that like making these videos might be helpful to someone. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you're in the market to get a point and shoot or if you're looking, if you should consider this little guy, I think it's great. If these little problems don't bother you, depending on what your goal is with the point and shoot, I think you should go for it. That's it, that's all I have for you today. Uh, again, really like this camera and I'm gonna be using this probably for the whole year, if not longer, as long as this hatchet doesn't break. Uh, that's it, thank you for your time. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.